Hi, this is David of Inspect Canada. One of the very common electrical deficiency that we find under the sink are abandoned live wires. This happened most of the time because there used to be a carburetor plugged in right here. And then it either, as usual, started leaking, making too much noise, or completely stopped working. And then they decided to get rid of it, and they called the plumber so that they can re-plumb the drains properly. The thing is that most plumbers out there are definitely no electrician. So when it comes to the cable, all they do is they basically say, hey, I'm no electrician, and they just dump it in the back right here. Every cables out there should not be left abandoned, especially when they're alive. They should be going inside a junction box. So this is what we'll do today. We'll set up a junction box. I'll show you exactly how to do it. I'll show you the tools that you need to get it done. But the first thing we need to do here is to be safe and it's to turn off the breaker for the carburetor here. At the panel, all you need to do is to read the legend. So here we have a washer, dryer, dryer, carburetor. So this one would represent this breaker right here. Turn this off and now the power is gone and we'll be safe to work on this. Now, even though I know I did turn off the breaker, I want to make sure I turn the right one. So I've got a voltage tester right here. And as you can see, absolutely no power and all that. So now we'll be safe to work on this job. Now for this project, we're not going to need a whole lot of items. We're going to need a junction box with a cover. So this is where the wire is going to go and then we'll close it with this cover right here. We need to have a screwdriver. We need a couple screws to anchor that box in place. We don't need very long screws. I've got half inch screws here because we don't want these screws to go on the other side of this cabinet. I've got some electrician tapes and a little bag of marrots. We're only going to need two of them. Now I want to make sure that I find a good location for this box somewhere where the cable will be able to get right inside there some place where it's not going to get hit by items around. So I think this spot's going to be really good right there. I'm just going to screw that right in place. All right, now what we need to do is we need to enter these wires inside that box. But before, wires should be terminated with a marret. So a marret goes in the end of the wire and then you spin clockwise, just like this. It doesn't hurt to tape them so they don't fall off. Just like that. So let's tuck it right inside this box properly and nicely. And now all we need to do is to put this cover back on. So as you can see, taking care of a live wire that's abandoned on their sink, putting that in a junction box, it's not a big job. These boxes, they cost a few dollars, screws a few dollars, it's a few dollars here and there. And if you did have to call an electrician to come and deal with that, even though it would take them about two minutes to do it, they would still have to charge you two to three hundred dollars for this. So right now, if you do it yourself, you go to Home Depot, you get what you need and uh, you can get this done within 10, 15 minutes. You've learned something and uh, you save some money. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us directly. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you get a notification every time we add a new video. All right, until next time, have a beautiful day.